How to use your mobile phone in public without causing offence. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Mobile phones are an invaluable part of modern life, but new technology doesn't always sit well with common courtesy. This film is going to show you how to use your mobile phone without causing offence, so you can avoid becoming a victim of phone rage. Step 1. Ringtones. Always have your mobile phone set to an inoffensive ringtone and keep the volume low. You may think it's funny to have the tinny sounds of Gina G coming from your pocket, but no one else will. Learn how to quickly switch your ringtone to vibrate, and keep it on this setting as much as possible. Never, ever trawl through your mobile phone's ringtones in a public place. You run the risk of being on the receiving end of some extremely evil looks, or worse, if you do this. Step 2. Location Considerations Airports and hospitals ban the use of mobile phones because the signal can interfere with equipment. Using your mobile while driving, or while at a petrol station, is also dangerous and irresponsible. The use of mobile phones in locations which demand concentration, such as theatres, libraries, galleries, places of worship, and museums, are also off-limits. Such locations will generally have a sign discouraging mobile use, but often it is assumed that nobody would be rude enough to leave their mobiles on. If in doubt about where it is impolite to receive a call, use your common sense. If an upcoming call is likely to cause disruption to others, turn your phone off. Step 3. In company. Any face-to-face -face company should take precedence over a phone call. If you absolutely must answer, apologise first. Meetings, business or otherwise should be carried out without telephone interruption, so turn your mobile off beforehand. Otherwise, it appears as though you do not feel the meeting is important enough to warrant your exclusive attention. Step 4. Proximity. Once you have taken a call in public, it's polite to move at least four metres away from the nearest person. If you are in a busy street, move to the side. Now you can concentrate on your conversation without getting in people's way. Step 5. Noise. Don't shout. There is no need. Mobile phones are very sound sensitive. If someone can't hear you, Move to a quieter location. Step 6. Topics of conversation. Keep private matters private. Discussing a rendezvous point is fine, but discussing the ins and outs of your last date isn't. Confidential business matters are also a no-no. And rambling on for minutes about inane subjects should also be avoided. Be concise and brief. Step 7. Lock the keypad. It's easy to accidentally dial if you don't lock the keypad. This will increase your bill and could cause you major embarrassment. Importantly, it will also prevent you from wasting other people's time by tying up their phone line. Done.